What's going on guys? Today we're back in the shop for another tooling video. Like we told you in the last one, we had some uh, a bunch of new tools or some new tools I should say in the works. Uh, today we're building a new air compressor. The old air compressor that we've got, that one back there, it's just a 60 gallon one from Lowe's. It's old, it's used. Um, a friend of mine had it. He was throwing it out whenever I bought the plasma table. I said, well, I'll bring it home and fix it. I ended up putting some oil in it and ran and it pumped. So we kept using it. Now that we've got the sandblaster back there trying to do a little bit of powder coat and stuff, it's just not keeping up. It doesn't matter what we do, we can wait on it. Um, I was sandblasting three little shelf brackets the other day and it took forever. I had to keep waiting on the compressor. So um, my grandpa, he had this 120 gallon tank. It was originally an air compressor tank um the old company is i don't know how well you can see that but bruner engineering and manufacturing i think they're still in business today um which is pretty cool i don't know how old the tank it actually is but i know it's been sitting out back in my grandpa's shop for as long as i can remember so anyway these are uh, just cheap amazon three horse motors um same goes with the pumps this pump these pumps together should pump somewhere around 22 cfm um, we'll get them all plumbed in get a uh, try to see if we can get some of these old bungs out for our uh, our airlines coming out and we'll get it all plumbed up wired in get painted nice and pretty and uh, hopefully get her in service here pretty quick let's get into it All right, guys. Well, I got the plate all tacked on. Um, obviously, kind of common sense. This would be the plate where the motor, um, motor's gonna sit here, pump will sit there. I just put some little riser blocks in there because like on that old one, you couldn't get underneath of it to tighten bolts if you needed to ever change a belt um, or anything. So I left it wide open and it's a huge tank. And the motors are little, the pumps are little. Um, I kind of want to give this thing some height and a little bit of dimension so it doesn't look like two baby pumps sitting on a huge, massive tank. All right, guys. Well, the bracket cooled off pretty good, pretty quick. Um, I went ahead and set the motor, pump motors back up there. I really like the way that they sit. I went ahead and ordered some belts for them. Um, I shot a little test bit of gray there to see how it's going to like it. We got another little issue here I need to take care of before I go too far on the tank. Um, I can't get this bung out. It's not leaking. Um, I really hate to screw with it, honestly, but that's where I want to tap in to put my um, air coming out for the to feed the shop. I'm gonna get started on that bung there. I've got a three quarter inch nut. I'm gonna try to weld it on there, see if I can get the pipe wrench on it. I just don't have quite enough real estate there to get a good grab with pipe wrench. So let's see what we can do there. And for all you people who are gonna say, Barry, you should just weld the inside of that. Well, there was a quarter inch or a three quarter inch hole rather than the center of a square hole that was full of rust and debris and crap so that was the next nicest thing next easiest thing let me rephrase that so let's see if we can get that sucker out of there. bigger hammer that always helps
Don't give up. Never give up. All right, finally got those freaking things out. I, uh, I welded a three-quarter nut to this one over here, and I ended up just galling the three-quarter nut up, as you've seen there. And then, I, luckily, I had a couple inch and a quarter nuts left from the barn swing. So we heated it all up with the rosebud, got it all nice and cherry red, and then welded on the nut. It came right out. Um, up here, I welded the nut on, and it ended up busting right back off. I didn't heat it up, didn't preheat it, and the fitting being cast, it just didn't adhere to it. So I heated it all up with the rosebud, welded it on, and it came right out by hand, or I say by hand, with the pipe wrench, not with the breaker on it. So um, there's a little bit of debris in the tank. I need to stand the tank up and um, either try to flush it out with some water or flush it out with some air or something. But, uh, but yeah, super stoked that I got those out. I just had a little panic. I've been over here enjoying what I was doing and working. I thought I forgot to turn you guys on. It's okay. No one needs that and no one has
everybody. The monkey on the table is back today. It's freaking Saturday. I'm out here in my house shoes. Shooting an exit to this uh, air compressor video. But anyway, we got the air compressor all done finally. Or let me rephrase that. I got the air compressor all done. Greg's gonna. We uh, got the pumps all nice and painted. We got it all wired up. We got a junction box over here. Um, something I don't think that I did touch on, but I don't know if you can see it down there. But there's a valve down there at the bottom to put a, uh, um, it's an electronic solenoid valve, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. But anyway, it's at the bottom of the tank to help relieve some water pressure uh, or water out of the tank. We had a problem with the old compressor running so much that it was building up a bunch of water. We have a small dryer system on it, um, but not a very big one. So just anything to help. But she's all done. She runs, she pumps, ends up pumping uh, somewhere around 20 to 21 CFM. And that's twice what our old compressor is pumping, so I'm happy. But I'll turn it on. But anyway, we're done. Super happy with it. Um, the next video, I don't know, probably be a couple weeks still yet. We're pretty busy with. Greg having his own little job over there and me having my own little job. But we're trying to get back in the shop more and more as the winter comes. Uh, probably gonna move over into the wood shop for the next few projects. Um, got some planer table ideas and some wood lathe videos and stuff like that. Get out of the big metal shop where it's all cold and get over in the wood shop where it's nice and warm for the winter. But anyway, hey, thanks for the support on the lathe video. That was super awesome to see the video up above a thousand views. I know for a YouTuber, an actual YouTuber, that's nothing, but for us, that's pretty kick ass. So thanks again. And uh, again, if you've made it this far in the video, put in this much effort, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, let's continue to grow together. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.